Okay, it just uh, remains for me to just do a quick um, uh, report back on, okay, where do from here? What do we do from here? We, or is it just a case where we've sat about for a day, we've actually had quite an enjoyable day, um, but, you know, kind of so what? So what we're going to do is um, we've had a report writer who has been sitting, working away all day, kind of capturing as much of the feedback as possible. Also very important about you leaving any notes um, that, that you have actually on the table and we will collect all, all of them. We're going to develop a report which we will circulate to all participants um, and I would suggest that what we'll also do is include quite a lot of the links um, to various um, websites that you can get uh, access to information because there is a lot of information out there. Uh, it's just knowing where to, where to go for it. So um, we'll give a commitment to kind of start that. What we will then do is share that report um, with uh, Irish Aid and with the Department of Foreign Affairs. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to capture the information in, in a way that is um, you know, practical uh, and that will uh, allow them to, to engage with it. Um, we'll also be feeding the information into uh, the task force on post-2015 uh, and youth, which is um, established under the umbrella of the European Youth Forum. Uh, our, there's only six seats uh, on the task force, and Ireland has one of those seats. Uh, and Anthony Burrows, your hand up there, Anthony, uh, um, is actually, who's been with us all day as well, um, and who's very actively involved in um, uh, youth work and sustainable development, environmental education, uh, in his job with Eco UNESCO, represents Ireland uh, on, on that. Uh, and we're also, MYCI, are also members of um, DOCUS's Action 2015 working group that Niall mentioned. So it is important to say that the information that will be um, that has been g gained from today, we will disseminate as widely as we possibly can to try and influence the process as much as we can. So it just remains really for me to say some con concluding remarks and then just some thanks. You will have heard from various speakers today phrases which I don't think I have ever heard at any kind of youth work type conference previously, where people talked about it being a time of immense importance, never before in history. Never before in history was one of the phrases that Niall used. And I think, what a responsibility on us um, that we have never before in history had this opportunity, or indeed the need for us to take um, action. But what I give you on behalf of the National Youth Council is a real commitment for us to do absolutely everything we can to ensure that that rhetoric translates into real action and real opportunities for not just the voices, for young people to have the opportunity um, you know, to have their say, but also that we work with the policy makers and the decision makers so that they're open to hearing what's been said. I think there have been lots of opportunities for young people to have their voice, you know, to have their say, but that hasn't actually, in many cases, translated into saying, okay, well, where's the bit that I or we actually influenced? <laughs> so we give you a commitment to try our absolute best to do that on your behalf, but also would really, really, really encourage you. And I mean, I'm very heavily involved in Eco UNESCO's Young Environmentalist uh, um, program. And one of the things that it really focuses on is awareness is one bit of it, but it is only one bit of it. And today has been about raising your awareness. But what really, you know, makes the difference is around the action. What, once you've become aware, do you do Personally, do you influence your friends to do? Do you talk within your families about doing? Do you poke your teachers who have lots of other priorities to actually begin to do something about it? So it is about the action that follows on from, from this. So we hope that you will take the opportunity um, to say, and I think Hans kind of summed it up beautifully in terms of you know minding your your language, you, you know, and 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 then about minding kind of the, the actions. So what are you actually going to do? And every single person sitting in this room, every single one of us 
can do one thing that will collectively make a difference. So I want to encourage you to do that, to take the opportunity to be at the heart of the, of the discussions and the debate uh, around sustainable development goals, to be those torchbearers, to translate that into action. And we hope that you, together with civil society and policymakers and government, no single part of it can do it on their own, can work together to really make this happen. And I'm thinking, you know, just imagine, where will you be, each of you be, in 15 years' time? And how will some of you, who possibly will be sitting here, or here, and feeding back to young people and saying, I took part in something 15 years ago that was identified as being a never-before-in-history opportunity. And what have I done? What have I done to, to, that I can be accountable to you and said, I have actually done my very best. So with the new goals, where will the world be in 15 years' time? What do we want it to look like in 2030? So in leaving today, it is up to every single one of us to do our bit uh, to, to make sure that um, the, the world in 2030 looks like a very different place. And also to make sure that no one gets left behind. So as you're leaving, you know, as you're traveling back, as you're having a wee look around the shops um, before you leave Dublin or if you're on your way to Boswell's, that you do give some thought to what will you individually do, a promise to yourself about one thing that you will do that might uh, um, collectively make a significant difference. So I just want to finally um, say some quick thank yous. I want to thank, I'm not going to name everybody, um, you'll be pleased to hear. I want to thank all of the speakers from this morning who I th think kind of set the context, um, but also laid down some of the challenges, uh, I, I think, um, for us. Uh, I want to thank um, the young people who presented. Um, I agree that there, we need to have more opportunities um, for um, young people to showcase uh, and we're kind of at the start of it but uh, MYCI every year runs One World Week and we do exactly that. We um, get young people all across Ireland um, to think about uh, um, development uh, and to come together to showcase their, their, their work. Um, so when we send the notice out again, if you haven't already been involved, please take the opportunity to be involved. And you'll have heard of all of the different organisations who are begging people to be involved. You know, Eco-UNESCO, VSI, uh, um, the Young Friends of the Earth, um, forget somebody, um, the Concern uh, Chat. So there are lots of opportunities. Um, and that's just a flavour of what's available. So um, do try to find out more about it. I want to also thank um, Drehid uh, Youth Theatre. In that really short, um, uh, really short slot, it certainly made the hair stand on the back of my neck in terms of how you communicate a message. You know, so it doesn't always have to be communicated in the written word, and we need to be thinking creatively around how we do that. I want to thank all the facilitators who volunteered their time. Um, with us today. I want to thank the Printworks, um, one for the venue, but also for their wonderful staff who are absolutely amazing and who make um, running one of these events um, run on very, very well-oiled wheels. Um, and I want particularly to thank the admin team in MYCI um, who do all of the uh, background work, which is kind of invisible, but if there are no major hiccups, you know, that's uh, why it, it works so well. I want particularly to thank Valerie who is uh, hiding at the back. Um, stand up, Valerie. Valerie Duffy is, yeah, she's up and stand up. <laughs> Valerie Duffy heads up MYCI's development education um, program. Um, and when we started to talk about this event, um, she kind of told me about 100 people. And then as more people expressed an interest and more people expressed an interest and more people expressed an interest, Valerie never says no. So uh, as of Friday, we had 180 people who had registered for the, for the event. Um, and whilst the logistics are a bit more difficult, her excitement couldn't be contained. Um, that the more young people, the more youth workers, the more teachers, the more people that Valerie gets talking about development education, um, the happier she is. So um, thank you very much for putting the programme together, for liaising with all the excellent speakers. <laughs> Done a really excellent, excellent job and a very enjoyable day. But 
Um, I mean, last, but by absolutely no means least, I mean, to you, the participants, I mean, we could have all been here um, and it would have, nothing would have happened uh, had it not been, been for you. So um, to each and, and every one of you, one of the um, expressions that somebody, I think it was Celtic Youth Bray, talked about the heroes. Um, so, I mean, you have been um, the heroes of, of today. The conversations that you've had at the table where you've shared information helped to raise each other's awareness uh, about what we're, we're talking about, a very complex um, issue, as, as people have, have identified. But you've shared that experience um, willingly. People have heard what you've had to say. And we've come up with some very, very, very solid stuff, um, which I know that, you, you know, Niall uh, and, and others will, will have heard. So thank you very much for your participation today. Safe home, and we look forward um, to reporting back to you in terms of what MYCI has done and perhaps what the youth sector and others have, have, have done to influence this year of immense importance and this never-to-be-repeated opportunity that we have in history. So thanks very much.